Hello and welcome to Alekhine Gregory uh, part uh, 8. So we have one more move to cover the third option and the best option, queen h5. So this is the move that promises the most for white. So let's see, uh, here black has many bad moves. For example, if he takes or knight, he gets checkmated. Okay, that's pretty bad. But let's check other bad moves. So f7 is attacked. Uh, let's say g6. If g6, we just win material. So we can choose either to take the exchange on a8 or just simple take this knight and have a winning position. Another bad move uh, would be d5 because after bishop d5 there is a double attack. Uh, pawn on f7 is hanging with checkmate and knight on e4. And let's say knight d6, queen e5, we just win a pawn for nothing. Okay, so let's check the good move. The good move is knight to d6. And here, white could be uh, nervous to take the pawn with queen e5, and then he has nothing. He's not worse, but it, he's hardly better in this position. Or he could play an excellent move, bishop b3. And um, I was familiar with this variation, but I learned it from a very old book, and there was not much there. They just gave a few games, and they just said white has the initiative. And let's check how that is. Uh, for example, if knight c6, then after knight b5, uh, black is in serious trouble. You can check it for yourself. Uh, knight cannot take on b5 because uh, queen f7 is mate. And there is a threat. Knight takes d6, queen f7 mate. So this is not good. Uh, then what else? There are other bad moves. Uh, for example, uh, queen e7 is a terrible blunder because knight comes to d5. And black is just lost here. You can see for yourself too. Okay, uh, there is there are some good moves. So it looks like uh, yeah, this is another position where I had to ask the engine because it looked bad. But actually, there is a move. There is a move. It's uh, it's not so hard to find it. Uh, Bishop e7. Just say take your pawn back and let me castle. Yeah. So after queen e5, uh, this position should be equal. Uh, of course, uh, white has maybe a more pleasant position because the knight on d6 is blocking uh, black's pieces, but objectively, white doesn't have much. So, to conclude, we needed to make eight videos each was about five minutes long a little bit shorter a little bit longer and all of that was showing you my analysis of the move 394 which alekhine recommended we can conclude that he was right but had we not analyzed we would just be guessing in the dark and then perhaps a position like that could have occurred in one of our games and maybe we would have made the wrong step because let's say you're playing a game and you know that 94 is a good move according to Alekai yeah but then your opponent has uh, sorry not that has three options and are you really so sure what happens after bishop f7 what happens after queen h5 and so on so i wasn't sure before analyzing this myself now i have some confidence that i understand why alekhine uh, wrote in his book that 94 is a good move also as we shall see Knight c6 is not a bad move either. So both moves are playable. Uh, 
thank you for watching and in the next video we will see how the game actually continued from here.